Hi, my name is Candace Middlesdorf, and today I'm going to go over an abdominal assessment of a patient. But before we get started, I want to do a brief overview of anatomy and physiology. It's very important that you can visualize the organs in your patient whenever you're doing an assessment on the abdomen. So we're going to go through the four quadrants. I want you to note that the umbilicus is in the middle and then your abdomen is divided into four quadrants. First, we're gonna look at the right upper quadrant. You'll notice that here, you will find your liver, your gallbladder, your duodenum, part of your transverse colon, and part of your ascending colon. What you're not seeing, you'll also find your right kidney here and the head of your pancreas. Next, we're gonna look at the left upper quadrant. In your left upper quadrant, you're gonna find your stomach, your spleen, you'll also find the part of your transverse colon and your descending colon. And what's not pictured, you'll see your left kidney here and you'll also find the majority of the pancreas. Next, we'll look at the right lower quadrant. In your right lower quadrant, you're going to have the rest of your intestines, you'll have your ascending colon, your cecum, and your appendix. And then on your left lower quadrant, you're going to have more of your intestines, your descending colon, and in a female, you can also find your left fallopian tube here, your left ovary, and your left ureter. Going back to the right lower quadrant, this is where you would find your right ovary, right fallopian tube, and right ureter. You'll notice that midline you may be able to palpate your bladder if it's distended, and in a female, the uterus if it's enlarged. You'll also have your aorta located in this midline. So now I'm gonna have my patient come in, and we're gonna start the assessment. So first, I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm gonna introduce myself. Hi, my name is Candace. How are you doing today? Doing great, thank you. Can you tell me your name? Nancy Heaton. And what's your date of birth? January the 18th, 1962. Okay. First, I'm going to start by just asking you a few questions. And you can just let me know um, what what's going on with you today. So, have you had any change in your appetite? No. Have you had any change in your weight recently? No. Any difficulty swallowing? No. Do you have any foods that you cannot eat? No. Do you, have, do you take any antacids? Occasionally. And what's occasionally? Just when I'm eating certain foods, like Mexican. Okay. Do you have any abdominal pain today? No. Okay. Any nausea or vomiting? No. How often do you have a bowel movement? Once a day. Once a day? Mm -hmm. And do you have any diarrhea or constipation? Occasional constipation. Occasional constipation. Any recent changes in your bowel habits? No. Do you take any laxatives? No. Do you have any past abdominal history, such as ulcers, um, any gallbladder disease? No, I do not. And any abdominal surgeries? No. Are you taking any current medications? I, I take a hormone replacement. Okay. And do you drink or smoke? I do occasionally have a glass of wine. Okay. But I do not smoke. Okay. And also, can you tell me what did you have to eat yesterday, starting with breakfast? I had an egg McMuffin for breakfast. I had a salad, spinach salad for lunch, and had pasta for supper. Okay. Now I'm going to move on to the actual physical exam. So I'm going to ask you to lay down in the bed, and you can put your head up on the pillow. And I'm just going to help you adjust your shirt. I'm just going to pull it up slightly and pull your pants down slightly. So the first thing that I'm going to do is assess and inspect my patient. So first, I'm just looking at your contour, and you do have a flat contour. I'm also going to look for symmetry, and you are symmetric. I don't see any abnormal bulges or masses. I'm going to look at your umbilicus, which it is um, midline, and it's inverted, which is normal. And now I'm just going to take a look at your skin. And I do notice that you do have a macule here, 
And you do have a few cherry angiomas. And you have a little um, occasional striae. Your skin color is normal. Um, and I also see, you know, no abnormal hair distribution. And I'm just going to take a look for a minute. And I do see a slight palpation of your aorta, and that's normal. So next, I'm going to auscultate. So I'm just going to take a listen to your abdomen. And this should be done in a clockwise motion. And today you have hyperactive bowel sounds. And I'm just going to take a listen. And I do not hear any abnormal brewies. Next, I'm going to do some percussion. And you should, and this is just going to be general on your abdomen. So you'll just feel me lightly percussing. And next, I'm going to do your liver span. With this, I am going to have to put a mark on your abdomen. And I'm just going to um, be palpating for, or percussing for just a minute longer. When you're assessing the liver span, it should only be about four and a half to six centimeters. So yours is fine. And now we're going to continue. Next, I'm also going to do for percussion for splenic dullness. And now I'm going to get you to sit on the side of the bed. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to be checking for um, any tenderness. This is your costovertebral angle tenderness. Any tenderness there? No. Any tenderness there? No. Okay. I'm going to get you to lay back down for just a minute longer. And I'm going to help you adjust your shirt again. Now I'm just going to be feeling on your abdomen. I want you to let me know if you have any pain. Starting with some light palpation. This is only about one centimeter. Now I'm going to do a little bit deeper. This can be about five to eight. Just feeling for any abnormalities, any masses. Let me know if anything's hurting. Okay, any tenderness? I don't feel anything abnormal. Next, I'm just going to assess. You can assess for the liver by doing a hooking motion. Can you take a deep breath in for me? Okay, and you can let out. You can also go up. 
I can feel just a slight border of your liver. I'm also going to assess on this side. Make sure I don't feel anything. Okay, and it's not normal to fill your spleen. I do not fill your spleen. I'm also going to just see if I can feel your kidneys. Okay, don't feel any of those. And next, I'm just going to see if I can palpate your aorta. All right. I don't note any masses, and you said you didn't have any tenderness. Mm -hmm. So everything looks good. You can sit up on the side of the bed. I just want to end by asking, do you have any questions for me today? No, I don't think so, thank you. Okay, the only thing I did note is when we were reviewing your history, you said that you have occasional constipation. Mm -hmm. So I just want to let you know that it's important to increase your uh, volume intake, make sure you're drinking plenty of fluids. Mm -hmm. You can also increase your fiber intake and make sure that you have good activity. Okay. And this will just um, help prevent those occasional constipations. Okay. okay? Thank you. I want to thank you today uh, for being my patient. And I want to take a minute to thank everyone for listening to this presentation. Um, I hope you have a great day. Thank you.